So I've effectively leveled everything here. I actually used a level. So let's go ahead and do a spot check. As you can see, it's perfectly level. Look at that, excellent. And I just did that all the way down and I used my damper to flatten it out. If you don't have one of these, you definitely need one. It's just an eight by eight heavy weighted tool and you just pick it up and you set it on the ground like that and it packs the soil nice for you. My dog has run through this a little bit, so it's not as packed, but I think it's it'll do. So we're still working our way around this tree, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and lay the fabric down. So this is a landscape fabric that I ended up getting, heavy duty weed barrier. I can leave the link below. It says it's easy to install. Step one, prepare and install. The install area, remove weeds and rake smooth. Check. Step two, place fabric in the installation area. The fabric should be stretched as tight and as flat as possible. So that's the step we're about to do now. to keep this as tight to this end as possible. It's moving away, unfortunately. I need to have enough excess here to fold it over and then stick a pin to hold it into the ground. All right, so I knocked in the first three at the starting point and then I've just been pulling it taut and putting in a spike down the way. And I'm just using my hammer and it's pretty easy and just knocking them right in. So and it's that simple. Just have to go all the way along. So I've got these roots that you can see that got uncovered with all of our excavating. And I have my handy garden shears here, the long ones and the short ones. I'm just going to disinfect them with Lysol and so that I don't transfer any diseases to the tree here. We want it to continue to live a long time. And we're just gonna cut those down so we can roll this right on over it. So I got rid of most of the roots down here that were dark. These are obviously still living. They're attached to the spines. And the ones, there was one that was really long sticking out here. I got that and everything else. I don't think it's gonna cause a problem. You just want it to be flat enough to get your fabric over without putting a hole in your fabric. All right, so I got the tarp down, got these stakes hidden here. I'm not completely done with the stakes, but I did do them along the perimeter of the house. Got everything wrapped around the tree here and just folded it under around the trunk and put an extra piece in the back that is covering up like where I cut it open. I'll get a closer look. So I cut just this one angle to the corner of the patio so I could get it around the tree. And then I put this extra piece on top of it so no weeds come through. And then when the rocks go on top, it's gonna hold that down. And now I'm using whatever this tool is to put in a trench for the border here. All right, almost there, almost time for rocks. We finally made it to the point where we're going to cut the edging and install it. So mine was 16 foot, uh, six inches plus an additional 27 inches. And we had it laying out in the yard with like heavy things laying on it in the sun all day because it comes in a big roll. But now it's flat. So remember to do that. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I just came to check on everything. It's been less than 30 days. And look at this. Everything is growing. Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, uh, this is the one that's like the little mini watermelon. And then this one. Wow, it looks so good. What is this? It's cantaloupe. 
And then this one. Oh! This is purple something. And the arugula is the best. I think I can actually start eating the arugula. This one's not doing so well. I have to look at what that is. So remember, this one is not looking too good. This is actually the basil. So that's interesting. Why is the basil being weird? In the middle, we had carrots and watermelon. But as you can see, this cover smothered them. So I'm going to have to replant these. Look at the arugula, like, I still am so, like, in awe of how well this grew. I think every single seed grew, and look at the leaves. I mean, do you see that? So good! I feel like I'm gonna taste this.